Are you rolling? No, I didn't think so. All right, hello everybody. This is Cyber Slope. Oh, so you were. Okay. I'm Gaming Lifers, and we are back with another Japan Crate for today, the month of September. Today is Labor Day, an American holiday to celebrate um, labor. I'm pretty. Is it late? I'm pretty sure it has something to do it's with like, like the workforce. Military service. Yeah, how people work. Yeah. Celebrate the working man. It probably sound dumb. Yeah. So I wore my uh, my shirt. It says USA 2013 on it. I mean. Pretty old shirt, but you know, has so American this is a special crate because it's actually the two year anniversary of Japan crate. So they were giving out a lot of things like TVs and PS4s. And we didn't get any TVs or PS4s. Well, we have this lucky scratcher thing here. Oh, that's cool. So this lucky scratcher is a uh, see what we get. And then we have, of course, our magazine, two year anniversary. This month's box is all. Uh, RPG things we're going to for. Uh, so we're going to have a lot of potions and uh, antidotes. I can't believe I didn't know what Labor Day was celebrating. Uh, That's sad. Uh, you call yourself an American. Yeah, I do. American and proud. Let's see. After vanquishing the feared Mo Mocha Wash villain, Anko and JC were able to use the magical candy key to unlock the treasure. So they're talking about their manga. <coughs> Complete the quest for scratching off the layer of silver blow to reveal your price. You'll find anything from a new TV to special discounts to our brand new online store, store.japancrate.com. Use the discount for more of your favorite snacks to boost your HP for the next adventure. So, I'm going to scratch this off. Do you have a quarter? No, I'm just using nails. I don't have nails. Where do we go? store.japancrate.com Okay, seriously, do you have a quarter? Scott, you don't need a quarter to scratch <laughs> My nails aren't existing. You suck. What? I don't have long nails. Neither do I. Oh, we got the best prize of all, so... Look at that. Look at that stuff in my hand. Uh, twenty-five percent off any purchase from our new online store. Yay! Not a TV. Yeah, I'm gonna go wash my hand off before we start eating this candy. Great. That. Great. So twenty-five percent off anything at the store. I don't know what they have at the store. Probably candy. And then we got this little bunny guy. He squeaks. Some of them came with codes, this bunny. Mm -hmm. Some crates have codes with the bunny that could give you even more stuff. Oh, that's cool. We're out of luck, but that's fine. Alright, so, let's start. Okay, let's start with this. Okay, those are the Lucky Corn Puffs. According to the Japanese description for this snack, these sweet yep. and savory corn puffs taste like happiness and will bring you luck if you eat it. We think it tastes more like a sweet corn potagi. What do you think? Uh, I don't know what a corn potagi is, but... It's probably the good. Alright. I'll do the honors. You know you know what I'm seeing a lot of in here? The like snack stuff that you don't like that I do. Like, you know, the savory kind of stuff I guess. Yeah. Alright. So let's see if you like this. You won't like it. You can hate this. Not that bad. That was wrong. Dang it. Yeah, okay. No, he's just saying that, so I won't be right. No, it, it really is, um... It's interesting. It's more sweet than savory, I think. But here's our Zagoy crate that we forgot to show off. With the PlayStation, and the TV, and the Pikachu, mangas, and all sorts of Final Fantasy stuff. Like, I wanna see. I wanna see Final Fantasy. Okay. They all look like summons, I think. I think. Pretty sure it's Kai set. Never mind, it might not be. Yeah, this thing right here. Alright, those. It literally the potato chips on the front. The potato oh. chips black pepper. If you like to add pepper to everything you eat, you're going to love these. These chips are a nice change so. from your usual potato chips. Some of our staff thinks this chip tastes like fried chicken, but others say it's just like barbecue sauce. 
This bag is like full of air, like completely full of air. So barbecue chicken or fried chicken and barbecue sauce. Like this is so full of air, like you can't even grab it to pull it open. It's like it wants you to pop it open. It popped open. Go figure. All right, here's a potato chip. Whoa. They look like normal potato chips. Mm -hmm. Mm. Mm. I'm down. I'm getting the, the fried chicken. Mm hmm. But. I'm game. Uh, um, I don't know. Yeah, I didn't think so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, I, don't, I, don't, I don't like that. I nope. do. Potato chips. This is milk and coffee taste, so. Milk and coffee taste. We're getting another, like, um. The Mugi Pon Milk Chapter. Coffee Flavor. In Japanese convenience stores and vending machines, you can find coffee flavored milk. These are wheat puffs. Have, these wheat puffs have a milky coffee flavor to them. They taste great if you eat them like cereal. Alright. This is the bonus item. The bonus item? The cereal? Alright, let's see. How big are these? These are very small. Yeah, they look like. Yeah, it's like, like tiny little yep. things. Mm-hmm. Oh. Huh. Tastes like cereal. Yeah. I'm not getting a strong coffee flavor though. No, no. But I'm 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 getting the cereal flavor. Um we're yeah, just like uh, RPGs. I love RPGs. He doesn't, but I do. They're they're alright. And by all right, I mean I don't play them, so I, I, I'm not in the position to judge. I love RPGs, I play them all the time. Here's the hey, next thing. time on that? Uh, on our recording. Um, 21 minutes, oh wait, 21 minutes left. Yeah, okay. We got plenty of battery, we got time to do so. this. <laughs> Alright, these are the uh, Otatsu Doki salt and butter flavor chips. Golden crispy, these chips are made with sweet potatoes. The texture is thicker than usual potato chips, and have a rich buttery flavor. It's a bit crunchy and interesting. Flavor made the chip one of our favorites. Well, what do you think? You like it? It's butter flavor. That's sweet potato, buttery. Sweet potato is fine. Oh, I can smell it. Um, it looks like the potato chips. Yeah, but like it has like a ring edge on it, like a potato. Mhm. Mm kind of sweet. You might actually like this one. I, I'm, I'm actually getting a very, like, croissant. I'm not sure what, like, flavor it is. Does that taste like those croissants from the other month? No. I think it does. I, it tastes like a sweet potato. But, it was very... Damn, I couldn't tell at first. <laughs> Great one. Just look at this thing. It's so Japan. I can't seem to find it. Oh wait, no. I think this is the Osanko Watsugashi. A popular find at Matsuri Watsugashi is Japanese cotton candy. This Watsugashi comes in a cute animal print bag and is denser than your usual cotton candy. It has a very nostalgic taste, don't you think? It expires on the 11th, so... What, what do you think of that nostalgic taste? Okay. M. Giant marshmallow. Whoa. So I don't like, like a, cotton it's candy. It's like a tissue, like... Like a pillow. So I don't like cotton candy, like, from here, America, so I probably won't like this, but I'll try it because I'm a good person. <clears throat> well, It's gone. It, this is gone. Oh my gosh, it is. Like, it's gone. It just, <laughs> it dissolves, like, immediately. And you don't even chew it. What, what, what flavor is it? Like, you go to chew it once, and it is gone. Like, well, okay, your teeth I, I, just I, I need to know what like, flavor this is. They don't even, like, bite down on it. It's just gone. I think it's strawberry. Ugh. It's just hard to tell. It's just, you know boom, what? gone you so can, fast. You can have that. Like, you can have I get, I'll probably just stick it all in my mouth, and boom, it's instantly just... Yeah, yeah. So you on. should do that right now. I'll see how much I can fit in. It just disappears. Is it gone? Almost. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. 
It's gone. It's just what are those? Okay. Everyone cookie matcha flavor. Everyone cookie matcha flavor. The name may be Everyone Cookie, but we wanted to change it to My Cookie. Though these soft matcha cookies of a chocolate filling and are so yummy, they may not want to share. That's perfectly fine. We didn't want to share them either. But you sent them out to two guys to, who are um, sharing them. I was gonna say like millions of people, but I don't know how big their uh, subscriber count is. They're individually wrapped, which is That's good nice. for us. I guess. Everyone could be. No, you don't like green tea, do you? Uh, no, I don't like green tea. Well, this tea. is like green tea filled with chocolate, so maybe... Alright. They're well, kind of fun. They look like a normal cookie. Just oh, green. <laughs> um, so... Like you put green food dye in the... He didn't go. see that, but he will... I, I thought. Oh, you did? I don't worry. So, I have part of the cookie. I don't know where the other part went. It's just gone. Into the void. It's in the void. We'll explain that some other time. Let it be known that the green tea cookie's in the void. I'm tasting a lot of like green tea. Hmm. And could hmm. Mm hmm. That's soft like a cookie would be. Really mm -hmm. good. But I'm not, I think I'm getting a lot of green tea. So no, a lot of chocolate. The way around. Like the green tea no, has chocolate. powers the chocolate. Yeah, for me too. And I was being a lot. But not yes, that's green tea. It's so, weird. Share. Tea. So that's all right. Um, green tea. They're all cookies. You know, they're not. They're you like them? Right. Yeah. yeah. The best. Yeah. All right. This this is this is probably a Pikachu. Yeah. Yeah. Pikachu. This is a Pikachu grape. Yeah. Because yeah, I must have items. Thank Pokemon trainer. The Pikachu are out. Um, are out and about all catching them all. To share this juicy grape will all become a super style features Pikachu wrapper flavored Pika. So, I'm not actually gonna eat this right now because it's literally gum. Like, so, I think there's like three pieces. It's like just a hard gum, you know, like chiclets. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's what it feels like, and just in the package. But since we're like going through all this stuff, like, I'm not gonna eat For it sale now. in Japan only, Skylar. We just broke the rules. We bought it technically from Japan, so I think that counts. They bought it from Japan and we bought it from them. Alright, what's that? Um, this is the Kagiko Choco. This candy is an old favorite at Dagashi shops. The packaging is in a key shape, as the name Kagiko is the Japanese version of Latchkey Kid. Many children who have working parents carry a house key, so this candy is supposed to resemble that. Do you carry a house key? Yes, I do. So do I. Yeah, I have my keys in my pocket right now, actually. No, I'm not going to show them on camera, but, well, you know. What kind of harm would that do? Someone's just going to copy your key? No, no. These look like really tiny M&M's. Someone's going to just copy your key? No, no one's going to copy me. But, you know. And they taste like little tiny M&M's. Yeah. I think they're just like literally M&M's without the M on them. Stop it. Okay. Oh, these look great. Let's have these, the strawberries. Alright. These look really good. The Takako Strawberry Mugi. Simple, but so addicting. Takako Strawberry Mugi is another doggy shop staple. Milky strawberry flavored chocolate and pre crunchy white puffs make for an easy snack that's delicious. This looks really good. Like, it really does. Like, it looks... Like, it looks this. Pretty okay. I'd say. Wow, that's unfortunate. Yeah, they're just a little small. They're little tiny, like, lumps. Whoa. Whoa. Hold on. Um, they're kind of chewy, kind of. A lot. Like, I'm tasting, like, like a wheat-ish flavor, you know? There's some kind of bread spot up in there. I don't know. It's 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 weird. It's weird. It is. It's not like there's definitely okay. strawberry. Mm -hmm. so I think it tastes like strawberry ice cream, like the little frozen bits, like the frozen strawberries in there. Soda gum. We love Japanese gum as they feel like the flavors are so different compared to Western. Gum. One of the favorite flavors is soda. This gum is refreshing and makes us feel like we just had a sip of ramen. Oh, it's got like this little on the back, right? I've got these animals. Well, the camera's not focusing on them. Thinking about 
From there's like a map there, it's like a gorilla spawning in you do. In the maze to banana food. He's for the so there's like it's for the money. There's cheap mouse and carrots. Yeah. Mm -hmm. but we're not gonna do that. Later. And also so like he like raw money. Mm -hmm. And it appears to be okay. Let's go, Pete. Let's let's go. The Pikachu gum doesn't look too generic, but flavored gum. Yeah. Mm. Interesting. Mm. 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 Yeah. Mm-hmm. It tastes gum. Mm. Like mm. ramen. And like cider. Mm. Mm. And they mix together. Come on. Yeah. All right. Let's move. These are. So there's a creamy, the Moogie Choco Bar, favorite on my crunchy and chocolate, like Moogie Chasey Yacht, was a favorite puff on the turn of the milk fans in the JP to box. Buy your sweet, just come to the shop that you come up with a little sandwich, so we do. Oh, we have this left car. And he took it. So here's the healthy. I want to eat it. You have kind of food. And I it's really bad. It looks. Mm. That tastes like a right treat. It's a kind of rice crispy candy bar. Like crispy treat. I don't know. Rice crispy. Kind of gravy. So, 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 that we don't have any. Mm-hmm. It gives us really good, but up to the add more. And this one. This drink. There's two things like this. That's why you should watch drink. Pineapple and it's a drink. Every kitchen is a show off the bright pine and mango single flavor. Summer soda will bring over, but come back to pineapple and mango. Take a sip of this bubbly syrup. Take a bit of the sun on you. And here, the open close the ocean. Can you feel? So we have some kids here on plays of the minute. We're instructed how to open. In case you do that on some reason. If you can't fight your own. I have to warm with an olive. I can't see the name. I just don't know how to open. I don't know. I'm not going to fight you. Mm. It tastes. <clears throat> I'm getting a lot of pineapple. What do you think? It's cut flat out of the pine. I'm not noticing a lot. Kind of flat. I think it's. It also tastes like, like water down bubbles. Up. So I'm not a German. Any blood? No. Alright. Left. East is the R. Alright. That's the Nolly I Y, which is, uh, is kind of the same thing as this D1. I think the dishwasher. Almost the same. <coughs> I lost toilet. You know, I'm sorry. This one's Excuse me. No, <coughs> the description. Every machine. I hated the toilet. Oh, Moko Mummy read Moko Wash. Okay, I like it. Moko <laughs> Moko Wash. Moko Mo. Uh, a new. Yes, yeah, in Japan. Moko 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 Wash. A cool new release. Why that Moko Mo has you washes a can't eat it. It has you yogurt flavoring and washing. I can't read. Add the so make a water in the machine drink and edit it on the scene. So, soap and the scene and All right, you ready? Like, yeah. For structure. Here. Oh, cut it? Cut it. Um, I will. I'm doing a kit. Scissors. Yeah, I do have some scissors. Take this. And the scissors. So here's our instructions. Basically, you put it together, put the things in, mix it up, drink it. So I decorated the toilet. Do you want to decorate this washing machine? Sure. Okay. So let me see the, uh, here. Here's our decorations. 
there are your designs, you can contemplate that. Does it say like if there's a country associated with each design on the box? Uh, I don't think so. We should check. Let's see if we got like a Italian walking chain. Last time I got a Japanese. There's four different designs on here, but they're not country based. We got like the white one, the blue one, the red one, and the pink one. Hmm. We got like the default white one. Here, take a look. I'm building a washing machine. Can I, part of that is. Can't I build a washing machine? No, you get to decorate. But I'm building. Uh, that sucks. Oh, yeah, here's this. Thank you. So I've been watching The Devil Survivor 2 anime. Yeah, how's that? I get a very, very huge Kokoro Connect vibe off of it. Yeah? It's like. It obviously tells the story differently than the game. But, uh. Oh, yeah, here's a straw. Okay. The drama, if for lack of a better term, is like the Kokoro Connect when it's like really intense a lot of times. It has to do with like people dying, you know, and like friends and stuff like that. Wow, spoiler alert. I mean, people actually do die in this one. Do you want to see it or something? Like, do you care about the point? I, I don't, but maybe other people do. We're not even recording. Yes, we are. Oh, shoot. Why would we not be recording right now? You just said cut it. Yeah, and then I started it again. Are you done? So, I'm only coming to the ability. Can we just cut that entire part out? Nope. I'm just coming in. So, it's got this little thing on the gear side. It's making it Alright. What we need to do... Is there a cup in there? Yes. Oh. Okay. So, you're going to decorate it. Okay, cool. Make sure you commentate on your decoration. Alright, so we got an eyeball, a bandage, some stars, a, like, board. Like a command board for controlling what it does. Just in case you need a reference. And like stuff. And where are you even going? So yeah, that's what I got here. Alright. So obviously I'll put his eyes right here up front. Oh, by the way, I'm bad at this, so if it turns out to be a piece of crap, uh, you know, don't be surprised. There's only one blind. Well, I gave you a warning that I'm bad at this. I have confidence in you. Do you? Do you, though? For real? Yeah. No, you don't. Don't even lie to yourself. This is the part where you like fast forward it until I decorate it. Okay, I will, but we still have to record that. Yeah, that's true. The most difficult part, getting the stickers off. So I found like 50 of those bunnies at tags. 50. 50. Out of... I don't know how many people have Look at this, it's just his like mouth and his eyes with well, the large mouth and his eyebrows. Can I put his eyebrows like upside down and make it If you want to. Up? That's your washing machine. It's my very own washing machine that I can keep this up. This guy's got some pretty good eyebrows, like, dang. But change our voices right now, be like, you know, chipmunk, chibi fight, whatever you want to say. <laughs> mm -hmm. So this whole thing of, like, the manga is, like, entirely garbage theme. It's like, after they saved a group of lucky corn fairies, Uncle and Pal Paladin JC were bestowed the sacred candy key, such a welcome and magnificent treasure. Thus, they bravely set out on a quest of discovery. They had hoped to gather food and supplies from a nearby village, but instead found in one an injured familiar abandoned in one of the great fields. As an apprentice mage, Uncle had not yet mastered healing spells and worried for the creature's survival. Luckily, oh. JC had a solution. He heard of a tree made from pure sugar with cotton candy for leaves. People who were ill could find a cure within its branches. Uncle used her magic to find the tree, and upon arrival, the tree spirit offered them a potion. The familiar, who wished to repay its favors, joined the quest. Our three heroes arrived at the cavern of treasure, only to find that a keeper was a fearsome demon. They fought with all their might. Uncle and JC were nearly bested by the beast, but their brave new friend struck a decisive blow, defeating the monster at last. Also, the monster is the evil version of that washing machine. Are you serious? Yeah. The sacred candy key flew as it possessed to unlock the chest. The box slowly opened, revealing the hard-won treasure. But such a vast fortune should be shared, so our heroes were giving it back to the people, one box at a time. And apparently what they found with the treasure was a discount to their own store. Slash TV and stuff like that. She... Being an apprentice mage didn't master healing? Come on, everyone knows freaking, like, Dia at, like, level nothing. You know? Who's Dia? Dia is a healing spell from the SMT series. So, I've never played the SMT series. Well, yeah, I'm my level, bro. You've only played one game! <laughs> two. Oh, I'm not. sorry. Two! Two! What about oh, that two team rush sessions? No, I haven't played that. I played two, thank you! I played Street <laughs> Journey and I played... Uh, Devil Survive 2, yeah, that'd be it. It took a long time that. Artistic touch. And copying this. Two or six. Oh. Trank and wait. Shut up. He's gonna watch this video and be like, Why are you making me wait? Is this a sticker or is this just like the edge that says number one? 
Okay, I did it. Show everyone. Here's here he is, guys. Oh, wow. Let me see. That is like the most well designed control panel I have ever seen on a washing machine. <laughs> so we got we got our face here. And um we got he's he's a bit sick. He's got band aids, he's seeing stars. Um but the control panel. Mm mm. Well, Beautiful. Here's how it here's how it goes. I, yeah, just <laughs> I copied the box, but the control panel isn't on it anywhere, so I kind of just threw you just it had on. to improvise. Yeah. Alright, so next we fill it up with water up to the line. I don't know exactly what the line is. Is it that line? But not a lot of water. I don't know where that line is, neither does that one. Okay. I have looked Japanese stuff about these characters. So what's washing machine number one like? Oh, this guy looks American because he has an American football. The other guy has like a ten thousand dollar bill. So he's like, what? Rich, I guess. The girl has a bow, and our guy has a band aid. So we got the worst of them. So take a look. Great. You I'm can't read that. Can you? One scoop in. Can you read that? Can you say? I guess if I had enough time, and the internet. What's that say on our guy? On our guy, it says light. What does that mean? In that light. White. Uh, He's white. Se Stop moving it. He's white. Uh, uh, Sendakun. I don't know what that means. I can read it. There are so many racist jokes. He's white. Mm -hmm. What are you going to say? This guy's blue. Huh? This guy's red. This guy's right. pink. So we, you put two scoops of this powder in there, and then you close the lid, and you spin it, and you gotta wash it. Hey, so, I think that washing machine is the name that's, like, American, right? So... Jim. No, Jim is too... That's too American. It needs to be something... Oh, crap. Oh, crap. It's coming out. It's coming out, Skyler. Well, don't let it come out. Okay. Look what you did. I'm sorry. You are licking Jim's body. Oh, is he Jim now? He has to be Jim now, because I can't think of a better name. Well, like, Tim. That's the, that's the same thing, basically. So now he's all filled with lovely whatever that is. He just licked Jim's face. Didn't your mom ever tell you that surfing was not, you know, polite? She also told me don't drink out of washing machines. <laughs> Did she? I wonder why. She probably told me not to drink out of toilets, too. So, did you want some? You know, I think you abused Jim over here. I'm gonna give you some, okay? No, no, I don't think... I don't trust that thing anymore. You sullied it. Oh, and you spilled the mixture. How about you let me mix it this time so it doesn't go flying out? Thank you. And you can just drink it. You don't need this straw. So you just mix it a lot. Yeah. Till it starts to fizz up. <laughs> so I don't know Delicious. how you made this thing overflow. I don't know. I'm sorry. Maybe not spinning hard enough. You gotta wash it. Wash that powder. So, so, remember when I said slurping's impolite? Well, I'm gonna do it with my mouth, not the straw, so... Uh, so, Skylar, what do you think, what other appliances do you think I might get? We've got a toilet, and you want a washing machine. I think maybe one day we'll get, like, a fridge, maybe or sink, my a sink. Jim, I'm sorry for your existence. You gotta finish it. That was disgusting. You have to finish it. No. You must. No. You must. Do it for the fans. The fans? For the subs. Do it for the subs. Look, uh, I actually have dignity, so I'm not going to. <laughs> but, uh... I like this thing. The pillow? How much time do you think we have left on the recording? Like... 17 minutes. How did you increase it? 
I thought that in a year ago. I thought we just had to tell the woman over on. Okay. I know so much about technology. So now that we're done, let me eat this gum. What did what was your favorite thing of this crate? You know, I like this. Yeah. I like the potato chips. I like the other chips. I like See I like I like these this uh cola straw. I do. And definitely this uh I do. cotton candy. These were weird. No, I, I don't know how to, I don't know how to feel about these. The green tea cookies were all right. Uh, yeah. So, I mean one of them went into the void, but you know. <laughs> so so I've got this thing here. Apparent whoa. So inside of Don't play with scissors, kids. Inside of the package it came with this like secret mm -hmm. message. I don't know if that's a secret message, but it has this thing. And the gum isn't separate. It's like has indentations on it. Yeah. Oh, someone's getting their car washed. Yeah. So what does it taste like? It's a lot of gum. It says Haz Haz in it. Haz day. I don't know what that means. But yeah. I think it's great flavored. And then what was your least favorite thing? <laughs> I love Jim. I hate his stuff. Yeah. His inner fluid. Whatever you want to call it. Jim's inner fluid. Yeah, we'll call it that. I think, I, I didn't, I was a can't be fan of, of uh, like the, uh, these chips, like the weird potato chips. I don't know. Well, I'll eat them. Okay. Alright, this was Danger Pan Crate. Number, um... 19, I don't know. 23. Right? 14? I think it's 14. I was close. <laughs> Alright, this has been... Stop yourself? You know, I... I, I have no. A, a real idiot in this episode. I probably come across as freaking stupid. That's... Sad, isn't it? Yeah. But my name's Damien Likers. I mean, I have a name. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Say goodbye, Jim. I have a name. Bye.